I don't understand how this opinion persists after seven years. Infinite Warfare is not Black Ops 3. There are just some of the most odd Twitter takes out there, calling Infinite Warfare a BO3 clone, or there's just one I interacted with recently that said the futuristic burnout of COD started with BO2 and ended with Infinite Warfare. I'll dive into that one in a minute, but these games are very distinct while feeling somewhat similar. Not BO2 and Infinite Warfare, no, no, no. I'm talking about BO3 and Infinite Warfare. The two COD that's only similarity is the map philosophy and the mechanical input of jetpacks. I don't understand the burnout people experienced back in the advanced movement era of COD, so maybe you, the viewers, could help justify this burnout in the comment section, but what I will not stand for is the justification of hatred Infinite Warfare received. Hello everybody, my name is Matsuki, and welcome to why I believe Infinite Warfare belongs in the COD franchise, why the hate and fake criticism received was unjust, and how a lot of people like myself are just disappointed in the old COD community. Bon appetit, smash like, and enjoy! Timestamps are down below, but for case number one, let's discuss the parroted hate and the disinformation around Infinite Warfare from day one. Obviously, the reveal trailer was a big factor going into this backlash. You had many people just analyzing the crud out of the campaign footage as if it's going to be a one-to-one -one replica of multiplayer that year. People saw the barrel roll and thought that this might be a new dodge mechanic similar to dolphin diving, but also, people People saw the background characters using jetpacks, and so they had reactions like this. He's boosting! He is boosting! What the fuck? Oh no! No! How did we miss that? There. See it? Yep. And to be fair, some of these individuals did tell their audience to hold back their opinions until we see further gameplay, and of course, to be rational. That so many people are jumping to conclusions like they are. I, just, I wish more people would wait until they saw gameplay and, and actually knew what the game was going to be like before they started throwing stones. You know, a lot of you guys are pissed because you never wanted that, man. You wanted some good old traditional COD. We don't know everything, guys, so try not to jump to conclusions. No matter how much you hate this future shit, you get Modern Warfare Remastered. I know, we're getting, we're getting the best of both worlds. You got the future, you got the modern. Then we're set. We're fucking set for the year, man. We literally have all three eras. Plus Titanfall. I still feel like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is not getting the love and appreciation that a lot of you guys may come to give it once it's released. There's a big bandwagon of hate for Infinite Warfare because it's not a boots on the ground Call of Duty. The movement system pretty much rewards aggressive players over defensive players nine times out of ten. It's a futuristic setting. People hate this. I'm not really sure why. So with all of that said, why? Why were jetpacks the determining factor towards this game being good or not? I mean, BO3 was adored, was it not? I played Black Ops 3 and I loved it. I get that there was a lot of COD fans hoping for a return to the modern era or to World War II. The only thing we're not getting is World War II, but if the Battlefield reveal is a 1944 remaster, which is predicted to be, then we're set. As they were the COD eras that these people grew up playing, that's what COD was at the time. So when COD originally tried going futuristic, COD fans saw that as trend chasing. Can I blame those people for wanting a COD to return to its roots? Not really, but what I think old COD fans did when they disliked Bombs of the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer to oblivion is they simultaneously asked for a boots on the ground game while destroying any future chance of another advanced movement, Call of Duty. It's sad to me because because I loved that COD era, but the vast majority of online discourse shunned the Call of Duty I think did advanced movement the best. At least that's what I thought until Vanguard came along. You see, Vanguard also received some type of burnout before the game launched. Despite Vanguard being a World War II COD, you know, uh, what COD is at its roots, people were now sick of the World War II era before the game even dropped. Yet this isn't because COD strayed away from its roots, is it now? If COD was originally World War II themed, why is that a problem now? Well, that's just it. I think people realized the World War II era was boring and hard to innovate in a video game fashion. But you know what isn't hard to innovate? A futuristic game, a fantasy or a sci-fi Call of Duty title. So that right there is my first reason as to why COD should most definitely return to the jetpack era. You got creative freedom to design new technology that wouldn't exist otherwise. Black Hole Projector? Infinite Warfare's got it. Virtual reality maps that allow unique immersive digital death effects? It's canon, IW's got it. It's no longer a death effect shoehorned into a setting that has no business belonging in. If you see my last video, we discussed the potential a zombies themed Call of Duty could do. I'm just saying, there's a lot of potential innovation when it comes to these non-realistic settings. I think my friends agree with this too. I just think, like, too much realism takes away from the fun. Agreed. Um, 
And you know, with all the current shop bundles progressively getting worse and worse each year, more silly and out of this world, does a futuristic COD still turn people off? Like, is anyone gonna sit here and say that laser guns with their own unique mechanical abilities in a game set in the far future is more off-putting than seeing anime waifu death effects, electrified skins that aren't touching shock charges, and whatever this is, like, oh god, ah, in a modern warfare game. Like, what's worse in this scenario? A grounded jetpack cod that doesn't just look sci-fi, but also innovates equipment and movement so much? Or a modern warfare reboot that doesn't resemble the modern era of cod at all anymore? I think it's pretty clear cod is no longer a franchise that cares about grounding itself, even though that's something I personally value. But anywho, case numero two. Infinite warfare nowadays, for the most part, seems to be a game more and more cod fans think is good. However, it's a good game that doesn't belong under the Call of Duty title. During Infinite Warfare's life cycle, I do remember similar arguments pointing out how Infinite Warfare doesn't feel like Call of Duty. It led me to try and figure out just what COD is. While Infinite Warfare has some distinct differences from BO3, it was still a similar game, so I always wondered why the line was drawn at IW and not just the older brother BO3. It was like someone had alienated this game. <laughs> Jokes aside, I, I compared IW to BO3 and the classic golden era of COD. What I found each game had was snappy, intuitive gunplay. Obviously, they all have 6v6 respawn based multiplayer modes, for the most part. And then there's also score streaks, lane based maps, perks, and most importantly, COD has always been an easy game for anyone to pick up to make you, the average Joe, feel like a badass. Thank you, replay mode, for that line. <laughs> Infinite Warfare had all of these things. I could even argue Infinite Warfare did the easy to pick up shtick way better than BO3. Sick of jetpacks? Just enter the non jetpack mode. Sick of the people flying two stories higher than your head 24 7? Chuck on down an unavoidable black hole projector. Suck them right up. Sick of the pay to win weapons? For the first time ever, grind them out. Easy challenges and salvage were introduced in Infinite Warfare. The game was more consumer friendly than COD had been in a long while. So I was left with confusion. Why isn't this Call of Duty? There's even takes out there saying that Infinite Warfare should have been more like Titanfall with its map design, but Titanfall maps had more verticality. And then there's also these areas designed for Titans, wide open battle zones. So hypothetically, if Infinite Warfare was more like Titanfall, you wouldn't only have to change up the maps, you'd have to speed up the movement and fully transform Infinite Warfare into a game that it is not, into a game that is farther away from Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare maps, they're lane based. They have classic COD flow. The bigger more complex maps added later throughout the DLC did not retain this flow and control. The random factor was all over the place on maps like 4 and Excess. So in fact, I think because Infinite Warfare used a similar map philosophy to BO3's three lane designs, they were able to keep that competitive nature. After all, Call of Duty's a casual competitive shooter that can easily be picked up by anyone. You can't have a COD without the yin and the yang. And now's the perfect time to segue into our final case, number 3. This one COD fan I talked to recently seemed to justify the futuristic burnout through the most basic visual experience I have ever heard. So take all that I've just said about the maps, innovation, and all that, and just put it in the trash, because apparently it has nothing to do with the game mechanics. Not even jetpacks. As I've already said, IW has a tactical boots on the ground mosh pit, so what seems to be the issue here, according to this user, was the futuristic push itself, starting with BO2. Everyone's different, I can understand that. Maybe this person was an OG MW2 fan, not really into Black Ops 2. Even though Black Ops 2 was and still is regarded as the number one best COD by the majority of people. Although what I don't understand about this take that like five years of futuristic games caused burnout is that not all of these games were the same type of futuristic. Heck, there was even more differences between these games, BO2, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, BO3, and IW, than when you compare OG MW2 to the OG MW3. I can at least understand the burnout between modern Modern Warfare 2 and 3, those games had similar movement, settings, and weapon pools. But like, BO2 and Ghosts? Huge difference in the setting. One is colorful and futuristic, the other is dull, sad and apocalyptic. Their map designs were completely different too. One's more traditional, the other went wild with scale and complexity. After that was Advanced Warfare and it was the most unique COD yet. Exosuits had never been seen before, nor the vertical map design. Then we got BO3, it took this concept and went with a little bit of a smoother, floaty jetpack system with better constructed maps and wall running. The setting of its maps were in 
VR too. Did you ever notice how this World War II map got folded in on itself? Play the campaign and find out. <laughs> But yes, then, then we got Infinite Warfare, like, it's on an entirely new level with its theme. Space, bro! You got people in military-grade astronaut suits battling it out on Mars, all the way to Europa and the moon. There's even, like, a Halo reference on this map. So, Burnout on Futuristic? I don't buy it. I don't get how innovating with the uh, hybrid two-in-one guns or how changing up the setting drastically each year is burning people out. I asked if he just wanted a return to the modern era, but nope. Apparently that wasn't it. I tried rationalizing it the best I could. I think in the end OG MW2 to Black Ops 2 is like Infinite Warfare to BO3. These two pairs share so much in common while being very distinct. BO2 may have dolphin diving while Modern Warfare 2 does not. Black Ops 3 had ledge sliding while Infinite Warfare did not. IW had G sliding while BO3 did not. There's just too many differences that I'll just have to continue in a future video writing a love letter to Infinite Warfare. The cod that was my diamond in the rough. A gem beneath the soot. But with that, I hope you guys learned something new. Infinite Warfare and BO3, not really the same COD, very distinct differences. Although, calling them identical is essentially like calling MW2 and BO2 identical, you know? <laughs> I'm also always down to forgive anyone that has a change of heart, no hard feelings. I think Infinite Warfare just needs to be given the credit it deserves. And with that, thanks for watching. Click on another video popping up on screen right now, and I am out. Peace out, homies.